أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this video I'd like to share with you all some tips on the Riyadh diet which was taught to me by my Murshid Kamil Al Sheikh Sayyid Muhyiddin Mubarak Ali Shahjilani Al Hashmi Al Hasni Wal Husayni Wal Qadri So I'd like to start with the Riyadh diet. Riyadh means practice or rehearsal. Every time I had to practice or rehearse a song at the Zavia in Lahore campus, we'd go over some strategic rules such as singing every single day and practicing that song daily until we perfected it. There were some things that we had to do such as eating certain foods or not eating certain foods and that's where the diet part comes in. So you have Riyadh and diet. Here, if you see me looking over, it's just because I'm looking at my notes. I brought them along so that I can share with you some of the things that I learned while learning how to sing. So tip number one was singing daily. Tip number two, to sing loudly. If you can find a place where you can sing alone, that's fine. But if you don't have a place to sing alone, Sing as loud as you can, but do mind the presence of other people because you don't want to get in someone's way or become a nuisance. Um, tip number three would be to preserve your voice. Don't sing so loudly that you go hoarse. And tip number four would be to use olive oil. What my murshid taught me was you take a teaspoon of olive oil and you swallow it and you rub the olive oil on the outside of your throat as well. Using cardamom and cloves also helps with clearing your voice. Um, coffee can help open your airways as well, and it, it really does add to your singing performance or your recitation. Um, another thing is the question that I get a lot about sujika halva. With sujika halva, it's a really simple recipe, and it doubles, actually triples, as beneficial when you are performing or um, using the Riyadh diet. In this video you'll see, you can slow it down and you'll see that the suji kahalva ingredients are very simple and it's a very easy recipe to make if you'd like to follow along and just pause it and take notes, that would be perfect. Once you've mastered the suji kahalva, some people add a little more oil or butter ghee to it and they oil their throats when they eat and also the cardamom and the cloves help or they add to opening your voice and making it more powerful, more strong. The next step would be the breathing method. There's a breathing technique that was established by Hazrat Mian Mir Sahib rahmatullahi alayhi and he passed it down to Hazrat Mullah Shah Sahib who passed it down to Hazrat Darashko Sahib Rahmatullahi Alayhi Majma'een and um, here you can see this is in this picture and they pass it down generation after generation Hazrat uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Alayhi taught it to many of his talibs and talibs his leads and it was passed down to Hazrat Ali Kramlah who passed it down to my Murshid Kramil 
and he passed it down to me. And um, it's where you take your index fingers and your pinky fingers, you plug your ears with your index, and you plug your nostrils, plug your ears with your index fingers, and you plug your nostrils with your pinkies. If you inhale Allah, you zikr la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, and you exhale who? But I will have my murshid, inshallah, my murshid kamil can instruct you further on how to do that because it is a Sufi breathing technique and it's only proper if my murshid kamil shows you the proper way to do it. Yeah, that is, you say Allah and hold your breath <coughs> by sitting in a special posture. You see this? See the other man is sitting. He tied his knees with a band. You know, see this? This is the way you have to sit. This is the way you have to sit. And then you take a long, deep breath and hold your breath. You know? And then you, you know, this. The index to index fingers go here, and with this you hold nostrils. Now you take a deep, deep breath and close your nostrils. Allah. And this you keep her reciting. And keep her visualizing Allah's name, which I showed you on your heart. Keep on, this is called Habse Nafs. And Tadar Shaykh Mirami, at Isha, he would take, he just say, take one breath. Allah. And at the Hajj time, he would say, who? Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Shukran, ya Subhan, Shukran. Shukran, ya Subhan. Shukran. Subhanallah. So, this is a breathing method um, that I would advise that if you try this breathing method, you um, should just make sure that there's adult supervision for starters or that you are under the guidance of a Murshid Kano because it's a, it's a very unique and it's very serious uh, breathing method or breathing technique to hold your breath. And this is how many singers are able to hold their breath when reciting um, Kalami Bahu or Nasima Jani Bebataha Guzalfun. And we use this technique to learn to hold our breath for as long as possible while holding out those notes and those lines while singing. Um, some other steps you can take, like for restoring your voice, let's say if you have a, if you're getting over a cold, if you're getting rid of a cold, would be to use lemon, honey, ginger, these sorts of things. And, you know, inshallah, your voice will improve. You just have to practice every day. It's almost like with anything, that you want to perfect, you have to practice every single day. Inshallah, Tabarak wa ta'ala, these tips have helped you. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And but I should be able to get back to you and answer them in a timely fashion when I receive the email, inshallah. But for now, I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.